Brendan has archery practice. The target shows the points he gets for hitting a section. The table shows the number of arrows that landed in each section. Suppose you want to find out how many points Brendan got from his arrows that hit the black ring. Why can you use multiplication to help solve this problem? Multiplication combines equal groups to find a total. Every arrow that hit the black section is worth two points. You can see from the table that eight arrows hit the black ring. The bar diagram shows eight equal groups of two. Eight times two equals 16. Brendan got 16 points from the eight arrows. Each arrow scores nine points for hitting the red section. Multiply the number of arrows that hit this section by nine. Each arrow scores five points for hitting the blue section. Multiply the number of arrows that hit this section by five. Each arrow scores one point for hitting the white section. Multiply the number of arrows that hit this section by one. Each arrow scores 10 points for hitting the yellow section. Multiply the number of arrows that hit this section by 10. Now, let's find out how many points Brendan got from the red ring. How is this problem like the problem about points in the black ring? In both problems, you need to find the number of points for arrows that hit a section of the target. How are the problems different? The number of points and the number of arrows are different. Four arrows hit the red ring. Each hit is worth nine points. Skip count and record your counts. Nine, eighteen, 27, 36. Why do you stop skip counting at 36? Four arrows hit the red section. 36 is the fourth number when I skip count by 9. 4 times 9 equals 36. Why do you use multiplication to solve both problems? To solve both problems, I am counting equal groups. I look at the table and I see eight groups of two and four groups of nine. 